Education Service will, from January next year, introduce a new academic calendar that will run all year. The new calendar is expected to help the schools catch up, having lost most of the academic year to the coronavirus pandemic while still having to accommodate the demands of the new year. Director General of the Ghana Education Service, Professor Chris Yopukwamankwa, who made this known to the Conference of Directors of Education in Cape Coast, urged parents and other stakeholders to cooperate for a successful implementation of the revised academic year. Richard Kudrinyaku has more in the following report. The Conference of Directors of Education have been looking back at the effect of the pandemic on education delivery and what can be done to ensure that when schools reopen, academic activities would be done without hitches. Director General of the Ghana Education Service, Professor Kwesi Upukwa Mankwa, who opened the conference, applauded the directors for their support during the difficult periods of the pandemic. He revealed schools will be opened in January, and when they do, the academic calendar would not be the same again. Come January this year, next year, sorry, schools will be reopening for a new academic year. This has been so because of the pandemic, the COVID pandemic. As we reopen, this new school calendar year, which is virtually uh, new to all of us, we'll be running a calendar that, in a sense, will try to mop up and finish up with the semester or term that was not covered and at the same time catch up with the year. We will run a calendar that will run all year round from January to December to ensure that we catch up. And this calendar may be running for more than a year to ensure that we catch up before we possibly return to our new, our old system. President of the Conference of Directors of Education, Peter Blake Akakwesen, appreciated government efforts of infrastructural support in the schools. He, however, appealed to government to help place directors of education properly on the correct salary structure to enable them to enjoy allowances as their colleague directors in the country. Nana, you will be surprised to hear today that substantive metro municipal and district directors of education who are also appointed on approval of the president just as directors in other sectors have been denied of almost all the websites attached to the position in the upper part. They enjoy no allowances for the functions they perform in the economy of Ghana. This sharply defeats the underlying principle of equal pay for equal work, which the single sponsor regime sought to achieve. This has resulted in the painful situation where directors 